Hi everyone, my name is Parul. Welcome to my channel Parul English Lab. Today you are going to learn the conjunction not only but also. This is an advanced conjunction and this will actually help you to sound smart, confident and professional. This is a formal conjunction so you can use it in any formal situation. For example, while conducting a business meeting or while giving a presentation or uh, a training etc. So please watch the video till the end and learn it properly, understand it properly so that you can also use it in your conversation. So let's start our today's video. Not only but also is a correlative conjunction. We already have done conjunction and its different types. So I have made a separate video on correlative conjunctions. Still I was getting continuous questions regarding not only but also conjunctions. So I thought of making a detailed video on it. So this is a correlative conjunction and we know that correlative conjunctions they work in pairs and they are used to connect to words to phrases or to sentences. So basically not only but also connects two parts of a sentence part one and part two. Now please keep one thing in mind that part one and part two should be either positive or negative. So if part one is positive then part two should be positive too or part one is negative then part two should also be negative. It's not possible that part one is positive and part two is negative because then it will show a contrast and not only but also conjunction doesn't work like that. It shows a balance between two parts or elements of a sentence. For example, she is not only smart but also intelligent. So here I'm saying that she is smart, positive and she is intelligent, again positive. So part one and part two, they both are positive. So that's how we can see a balance between both the parts or elements of this sentence. So she is smart and she is intelligent. So here if I use not only but also, then the sentence will be she is not only smart, but also intelligent. So here I don't have to repeat the subject and verb. She is. She is not only smart but intelligent. I'm not saying she is smart, she is intelligent. So I'm not repeating the subject and the verb. That's why here I'm using this conjunction not only but also. We also use this conjunction to put emphasis in a sentence. So if I say she is smart and intelligent, so the meaning is same. But when I say she is not only smart but also intelligent, then you can see an emphasis in a sentence. So just to put emphasis in a sentence and to glorify somebody's characteristics, you can use not only but also. So it is completely up to you how you want to construct your sentence. But let me tell you one thing that if you use not only but also as I've told you earlier also this is an advanced conjunction then definitely you will sound more smart and confident and fluent. Now let's look at its structure. So the structure goes like first comes the subject and then the verb then you will use not only after not only you can use either an adverb an adjective or a noun and then but also and after but also again you can use an adjective adverb or a noun but one thing is really important over here that you have to maintain a balance so if after not only you're using an adverb then after but also again an adverb will come okay so if you are using an adjective after not only then but after but also again an adverb will come not a noun or an adjective you cannot have a noun after not only and an adjective after but also so this way the sentence will look awkward and you will not be able to show a balance okay so just to show a balance when you're using not only but also so you have to stick to this particular rule now let's look at some examples she works not only carefully but also effectively so here let's look at the structure she works subject and then the verb she works then not only 
she works not only carefully carefully is an adverb so she works not only carefully but also effectively again after but also there is an adverb so after not only an adverb and after but also again an adverb okay so this means that she works carefully and she works effectively so she works not only carefully but also effectively he talks not only carelessly but also rudely james is not only short but also fat so here james is the subject is is the verb james is not only short so after not only what do we have we have an adjective so james is not only short but also fat another adjective after but also so in this sentence we have two adjectives she is not only beautiful but also intelligent so again two adjectives she is not only beautiful first adjective but also intelligent second adjective tia was not only an actor but also a writer so here we have two nouns tia was not only an actor first noun but also a writer second noun so here we have two nouns so this way not only generally comes after the subject and the verb but sometimes it can come at the second position as well how let's look at the structure first so when not only comes at the second position so the structure that we are supposed to follow is subject then not only then verb then but also and verb okay i repeat subject not only verb but also and the verb now let's look at some examples he not only watches the movie but also remembers the story he subject not only plus verb he not only watches the movie so again the verb but also after but also we need another verb but also remembers the story i not only studied hard but also cleared the entrance exam so again i not only subject then not only then the verb i not only studied hard but also after but also another verb but also cleared the entrance exam okay so when you want to use not only at the second position before the verb or between the subject and the verb then you have to follow this rule you can also use not only at the starting or at the beginning of the sentence we generally do it to put more emphasis to the sentence and when we do it we have to keep one thing in mind that when not only comes at the starting or at the beginning of a sentence then the subject and the verb are inverted this means that they interchange their position so subject takes the verb's position and verb takes the subject's position how let's look at some examples there is a sentence she was not only beautiful but also intelligent now if you want to put more emphasis to this sentence then you can start it with not only not only was she beautiful then you will not say not only she was beautiful because she and was verb and the subject the position of verb and subject will be inverted okay so not only was she beautiful but also intelligent or not only was she beautiful but also she was intelligent so in second part after but also you will not apply this rule that means the subject and the verb will not be inverted they will not exchange their places or positions but after not only if the sentence starts with not only then after that the verb will come first and then the subject let me give you another example not only did i pass the test but also i scored highest marks in my class so here not only did i score because we are talking about the past simple past that's why we are using did over here not only did i pass the test but also i scored highest marks in my 
class so the second part of the sentence will remain the same but also i scored highest marks in my class okay so here the subject and the verb are not inverted but yes after not only they are inverted so not only did i pass my test but also i scored highest marks in my class now if you have to say i like not only chocolates but also ice cream if you have to put more emphasis to the sentence then you can start the sentence with not only not only do i like so here you have to add do because this is simple present so in simple present whenever we have to make a question we start it either with do or does depending upon the subject okay so the subject is i here that's why i'm using do so here the sentence is not only do i like chocolates but also ice creams or but also i like ice creams so this way you can start the sentence with not only not only did he drive carefully but also he followed all the traffic rules so here simple past and whenever we have to make a question in simple past we start the question with did okay so not only did he drive carefully but also he followed he subject and then the verb but also he followed all the traffic rules let me give you one example in simple future tense also not only will he give me some money but also he will help me to get a good job not only does he have a good house but also he has an amazing job so this way you can use not only at the beginning of a sentence when you want to put more emphasis to the sentence but one thing that you need to keep in mind is that whenever you are using not only at the beginning of the sentence that time the subject and the verb are inverted so that's all for today i hope now you have understood the concept of not only but also now please try to make some more sentences and start using it because this is an advanced conjunction and this will really help you to be fluent in english please like and subscribe to my channel parol english lab and don't forget to press the bell icon for future notifications thank you take care and have a great day